At this meeting, we will take stock of what we have accomplished over the past two decades. And I hope and I trust that we will hear encouraging and inspiring stories and statistics. But we will also hear that much remains to be done to achieve gender equality. Our goal is to identify the obstacles that hinder full empowerment of women and find the policies, measures and actions that can remove them. Almost 20 years ago, in September 1995, representatives from 189 countries around the world came together in Beijing for the United Nations Fourth World Conference on Women. The plan of action that was adopted in Beijing serves as a framework for improving the lives of women and girls around the world. This week in Geneva, both the NGO Forum and the UNECE regional consultations are taking place. We are here to talk about key priorities based on that historic meeting 20 years ago. We're here to talk about the elimination of violence against women. We're here to talk about the representation of women in government and in positions of leadership. We believe that a, a solid partnership of women and men can really help to move issues that are important to women and children and families forward. The regional review process is an important opportunity to identify our priorities and where we can really have an impact in closing the gender gap. I think most importantly, uh, gender is no longer an add-on to how we think about our foreign policy. There's been a shift in our thinking. Gender has now become part of the way we think about foreign policy. It is a part of the equation in how we look at our problems and how we determine solutions. Unfortunately, we still have a long way to go. Women and girls still face uh, profound inequalities in all aspects of their lives, uh, in every country and in both the public and private sectors. Reversing that reality and ensuring that women and girls can participate on an equal footing with men and boys would be among the most transformative changes that we could make through the post-15 development agenda. I think it's important that we renew the commitment we made in Beijing and that we increase our, uh, our focus on these issues. And I think that if we do that, that together we can help women and girls achieve the future that they deserve. It's important to us to be here today to talk about the United States commitment to our women and girls, kind of how well we've done, yet where we have to go, as well as what this means both within the ECE region and globally. I think we strongly feel that you can tell how well a society is doing by how its women and girls are doing. So we want to make sure that we are holding ourselves accountable and that we're part of this larger review process to see what we've done and where we need to go.